Wow, thank you very much for hanging in there. It is always amazing to know that we are doing this show with you. And just before we go to my guest, there's someone who wanted to know more about Didi. Just DM him at Didi. Uh, just go and search him and you'll get him there and DM him. He's your mentor. Wow. Thank you very much for that comment. And Noel, now about my guest today. I've been singing about him all through since we started this show. Talk about superstar in the building. Eh? Those people who won 5 million nairas. Yeah, SUV and million recording contract. I don't know. Wow, I don't even know how to describe him. He's amazing, a superstar in the building. Karibu sana. Ni Aji. <laughs> I'm alright, how are you doing? I'm fine. Great, great, great. My name is Jeff Ako. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a Nigerian singer, a mm -hmm. songwriter. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. you, you told me you know some Swahili. Um, Nairobi, mm -hmm. Ni Aji. Mm -hmm. Mambo Vipi? Mambo Vipi. Yeah. Uh, we some Mambo Sour. <laughs> that's what you say, Mambo Sour. Okay, that's great. great, great, great. Aji. Oh, well, perfect. And maybe one question that everyone is dying to ask you. Yeah. How does it feel having won MTN Project Fame? Season eight, that is in twenty fifteen. Yeah, it's mm. like three years ago now. Um, yeah. it's it was an it was an awesome feeling. Um, mm. basically, uh, and I was super excited as at then. But the truth is, I always knew that that was like the the beginning of of the journey. Yeah, you get me. So mm. I always put that at the back of my mind and just mm. always looking forward to the best. We so Project Fame is like three years ago. Big ups to MTM Project Fame. Mm. Now it's all about Jeff Ako in the end. Yeah. Making it. And maybe to be specific, yeah. this is the time you are only left the three of you and the drums yeah. were rolling. It's like, now the winner is, the winner is, how are you feeling? <laughs> um, at that point, uh, I was like, oh, no, anything can happen because like, <laughs> it's, it's two people and everybody deserved it at that point. Yeah. So I was like, anybody who wins right now, I'll be happy, but I'll be happiest if I win though. Mm -hmm. And when they called my name, I was like, for my reaction, you see me like, <laughs> you like, fell down, like, legs I, up. <laughs> <laughs> like I won the World Cup. So yeah, I was I was super excited. I was very I was very excited and I was very grateful as well. So yeah, that's mm -hmm. it. Did you? Why you feel like I'm the one who's supposed to take this thing home, guys? Well, everybody everybody feels that way. Why 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 go into a competition and not want to win? You get yeah. me? So that was the that was the drive for everybody who was there. Yeah. And for the people who made it to the finals, I'm sure like they were. They were also feeling very optimistic about it. Yeah. And at that point, I believe everybody was a winner as well. It's just that someone has to win. Mm -hmm. Gratefully, it was me, so yeah, I yeah, can only be thankful. Mm. And you're going to be playing that clip right now so that you can see what this guy has. <laughs> Hello, world, it's me again, Jeff. Tonight, I'll be doing a collab with the beautiful Yemi Alade K I S S I N G Kissing. Ah, it's a wonderful experience doing this song with this lady. She has done so many remixes, but this one, I promise, is going to be the best by God's grace. Yeah. It's it was, it was wonderful working with her in the studio and making this hit track with her. I hope you guys love this and I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you very much. God bless you. Project Fame! What a feeling!
Oh, Jeff. <laughs> I can see you smiling. <laughs> I, can't, I, can't, I can't actually remember the last time I saw that video. <laughs> <laughs> I can't so that, that's, why it's, that's why it's funny seeing the video, actually. Uh, how was it performing with Yemi? Yemi um, Alade is a great person. She's a great personality. And, yeah. Um, it was, it, was, it was a great experience because she also won the talent show as well. Yeah. So um, mm. she gave me a few words of, of advice and it was, it, was very, it was very good as well. So mm -hmm. big ups to Yemi Alade on that one as well. And how come she did not overshadow the whole thing? Both of you are equal. Like yeah, as I said, she's a, she has a good spirit. Yeah. So she allowed, she, she, she allowed me to um, basically express myself mm -hmm. and she expressed herself as well. So we just, um, it, was a, it was a perfect combination. Mm -hmm. That was it. So, mm. uh, big ups to Yemi Aladi on that one. And you too, you are super. <laughs> and when you're going for the auditions for the first time, did yeah. you feel like I'm going to win this thing? I'm only going to. Oh, you are, <laughs> you are joking. No, yeah, I was. I was like, <laughs> what's the point? No, as I said, anything you're doing, why, why, why do it if you don't want to come out the best in it? So yeah. I did it and I went through the auditions, went to the nationals, went through the semi finals, mm -hmm. and went, then we went, went to the show itself. And at every point, I just kept on. Um, Hyping and um, telling myself that this thing you need to win it. Like you're you're here and you have to conquer. In it. Yeah. So that was it. And I just I was always positive, mm -hmm. and that was it. And it's it's something I've carried along from Project Fame. I just have to be always positive. Yeah. Positivity yeah. positivity is a vibe and it's infectious. If you're positive, yeah. it would always it would always come out good for you. So that's that's about it. So being always positive is positive yeah some wisdom nuggets yes. there and you were 18 at that point is it someone who told you jeff you should go for that thing i might something you just decided on yourself uh yeah it was it was actually my mom my mom was very supportive so hey. she was like, I, should, <laughs> I, should, I wasn't doing anything at that point uh -huh. she was like hey i should just go try it out yeah. and yeah it paid off you, you, you always have to listen to your parents right uh, yeah. So yeah very key so that's that's something i'll carry on to, to my <laughs> children i listen to my mom so you, sh you both should listen to me as well <laughs> Yeah. And then after you won the <laughs> five million naira, did you like share? Because she's the one who told you go well, for this thing. Well, that, that's personal. And I said I was eighteen then. You know, right? So I was still very young. Oh, so, so I can tell. I can read between the lines what yeah. happened afterwards. <laughs> 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 and then maybe one of the okay when you're in at the house, it's yeah. usually so much of pressure. Yeah. How has it helped you even afterwards? Um, mm. as I'm always calm, mm -hmm. to be very honest. Mm -hmm. So. No matter how much the pressure is, I might, I might be, I might be um, pressured inside, but mm. like my countenance outside is, is always to be calm. So I always have to control the situation. Nerves will just, will only make the situation worse. So you just always have to calm down, think through it and just make it happen. Really. Mm. At some point I was, I was, um, stage fright is something that can never go to be honest because you're always going to be getting bigger crowds. Yeah. So when you start, you could have like maybe 500 people mm -hmm. Going forward, it gets to a thousand, gets to two thousand, yeah. gets to five. Then before you know, you're get, you're, you're doing fifty thousand. Mm -hmm. It's as I said, it's always a process, and there's always gonna be 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 bigger um, bigger hurdles in the way. Yeah. So you always have to be ready, mm -hmm. and you always have to hype yourself in it, and just be just be positive. And that's that's about it. You just always have to be positive. Yeah. Yeah. And what about when you worked so hard, but the faculty were like, you're not up to standard? How did it make you feel? Well, I don't <laughs> think there was any point that that, that happened. So I'm yeah. super grateful. Oh. There was no point that always the, super. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> and there was no point that they were like, hey, you need to do this. You need to do this. Yeah, I had some issues with um, with um, performing, like dancing on stage, but I I, I was I always covered up with my vocals. So they were like, oh, you can you can just keep going. And with time, as I said, confidence keep keeps growing, and mm. that's it. Oh, you say that you're calm. And I told him he's a humble man. <laughs> he has a humble spirit. And he was like, I'm not even humble. But ladies, yeah, there are those people, young men who are still there. Humble, bad though, yeah? <laughs> humble <laughs> Nigerians, that, yeah. That, to that question, are you single? <laughs> do I look single? H, uh, yeah. Do you look single? <laughs> it's a question. Now. Let's, let's go about it. <laughs> Please, all my Nairobi girls, I'm very single and I'm a very available. Please. <laughs> Hit me up, eh? Hey, you I know how Nairobi ladies are, eh? Yeah, I love, I love Nairobi ladies. Eh? Okay, nice. they'll come down after you, after you, after <laughs> that place. <laughs> and so, maybe one thing, one great lesson you learned at the house and still it's keeping you yeah. on your toes. What is that one thing? Um, positivity, to be mm -hmm. honest. You yeah. always have to be positive. Mm -hmm. Mindsets, body language, everything has mm -hmm. to be positive. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. so and, th oh, okay. That's something I, I always carry along with me. Okay. So, yeah, that's it. Okay, I want uh, my viewers to see when you're receiving that check. <laughs> so that, you know, you have said you're single. They'll come running after you. Single, it's your <laughs> <laughs> uh.
Congratulations, Anderson. Thank you, sirs. That's right, the first runner up, of course, walks home with three million naira and a brand new saloon car. Thank you very much. B, can I have the envelope? It's the envelope with the name of the first runner up. The first runner up of MTN Project Fame West Africa, season eight, the next, is. The first runner-up of M10 Project Fame West Africa, season eight, the next is... Pearl. RB, can I have the envelope? He doesn't want to give it to me. <laughs> Thank you very much, B. Thank you very much. Thank you. A round of applause for him. Well, in this envelope, it's the name of the winner of MTN Project Fame West Africa season eight, the next. Are you guys ready for it? Wait, I don't think they're ready, Joseph. Well, you know what? I think we should take a quick commercial break. We'll be right back after this. Project Fame! What's a feeling? What's a feeling? I'm trying to figure out what he's saying to me. The winner of M10 Project Bay West Africa season eight, the next is. The winner is. Jeff. <laughs> I, if I was at that point, I think I would have fainted. <laughs> I'm trying not to laugh. <laughs> I know you have laughed your head off all through. <laughs> what exactly did you do with the grand prize? <laughs> what did you say? What exactly did you do with the grand grand prize? Yeah. What what did, what did I do with the grand prize? Yeah, yeah I used it to, to promote my music as mm -hmm. well. For my music, mm -hmm. for my music, yeah, mm -hmm. that's what I did. And especially the Nini, the recording contract worth millions of naira. Um, yeah, um, that helped with uh, like a video too. But I also helped to push. I also pushed myself as well. Mm -hmm. So um, it's 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 my career. So I have to 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 put in um, my my own finance as well. So yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. It was all about the music, as I said. This is what I want to do for the rest of my life. So I gotta yeah. invest yeah. back in it. Because uh -huh. so when I'm making the millions back, I'm gonna be like yes. Mm -hmm. invested my money in it. And is yeah. the 5 million naira over? I, mean, I should ask you a very tough question and, and then if you're not able to answer it, I, <laughs> I walk away with the balance. <laughs> <laughs> it's mm. been three years. <laughs> it's been three years, eh? Yeah. Mm, yeah, that's true. So that, I think that's enough. Mm -hmm. So what have you been up to after that? Um, 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 great, great, gracefully, um, I got signed to a management company, mm -hmm. Temple Management Company, yeah. um, which is a Pan-African co company, uh, Pan-African management company um it's it's not just um in nigeria it's mm -hmm. it's it's pan-african so it, they have a branch here in kenya as well mm -hmm. they have in south africa mm -hmm. uh, they have in um in um in 
Sierra Leone, I mm -hmm. think. Mm -hmm. So um, I got signed to Temple Management Company. Big ups to Temple Management Company. Mm -hmm. They're the ones who actually brought me down here as well. Mm -hmm. So yeah, um, as I said, it's all about Africa. Um, there are no borders. Oh. We're trying to we're trying to push the music um, to the whole of Africa because yeah. the truth is, for us to to attain greatness as Africans, we have to. They have to become one. Yeah. There has to be no borders. Yeah. So it's not. I, I, might, I might be from Nigeria, yes. but truth is, I'm African, and that's that's what really matters. It's the, is the um, is the identity of being African, being black, and proud. Yeah. So that's about it. We're, we're trying to cross borders. Mm -hmm. We're trying to break those boundaries. Mm -hmm. It's not Nigeria. It's not Nigeria music. It's not Kenya music. It's African music. Mm -hmm. So that's what that's what my management company is trying to do. And so that's why I'm here as well. Um, I just released my album title Lokoja, which was on on the 27th of. October oh, last okay. year uh -huh. as well uh, so it's this is all part of um, the, the my my media um, my media coverage for the, for the for the album I was in Ghana sometime in November okay. and I'm in Kenya now so I'm, oh. I'm just going to keep um, visiting other African countries as well as I said it's all about Africa mm -hmm. African music yeah no Nigerian music no Kenyan music <laughs> it's Africa yeah oh wow and I said there's another mission where you're here yeah yeah yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, here. yeah yeah so yeah um, <laughs> Um, I, uh, there's a song on the album titled Halima um, and I featured Calligraph Jones. Hey, yeah. Uh -huh. And so, yeah, we shot the video, I think, two days two days back. So it's going to be out pretty soon. You guys should watch out for it. It's titled Halima featuring Calligraph. You can actually get it and um, get the album. It's titled Lokoja, L-O-K-O-J-A, on all streaming platforms, on Spotify, on iTunes, on Boomplay. It's it's everywhere. So you, you, you should go get it. Yeah. So it's definitely something to listen to, eh? Yeah, because it's true that there is no artist who would refuse having a collab with you. So <laughs> maybe other collabs you are really looking forward to. Yeah, certainly, certainly, um, certainly. Um, I met Nai Boy. Um, mm. So yeah, we're, I think we're going we're going into the studio on Monday as well. Mm. And yeah, right now I'm going to the studio with someone else. I'm not just gonna mention. So uh -uh. Uh, we need to it. hear this, brother. No, 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 no. <laughs> you guys, you guys will hear. You guys, you guys will just hear the music. That's what. Really, <laughs> that's what really matters. The music that really matters. So uh -huh. you just hear the the end product. Mm -hmm. mm, so yeah. Who inspires you? Um, everything. To be honest, yeah. everything. To be honest, mm -hmm. um, um, what I'm, what we're doing right now could <laughs> could be inspiring. I could, it could it could it could come in handy. Me writing a song. <laughs> And I'm very open to also working with um, um, writers as well, because mm -hmm. you can't be stuck up in your own creativity. You need other people as well. The biggest songs in the world were yeah. written by mm -hmm. other people other than the singers. So I'm very, very open to to, to writers. And yeah, we just we just um, we just commune and make great music together. Mm -hmm. That's it. And before we get to hear your tongue twister song, I can't believe <laughs> it pronounced that. <laughs> That song, who are these people you all over the world you have been looking up to? Their music is inspires you. Inspires mm. um in all honesty, I'm not even going to beat around the bush. Um mm. I look at I look forward to people who have um influenced a generation yeah. and are still influencing after their death. Mm. Because um music is a spirit and you have to imbibe that spirit to be able to pass to be able to pass yourself, your 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 music as well as your personality to, to, to people who were, were not even born when you were making your music. Mm -hmm. So I listen to people like, um, I'm inspired by Michael Jackson, certainly. Mm. His soul, his spirit is, lives forever. He's the king of pop. I think he's the king of music, to be very honest. Mm -hmm. um, I also listen to Whitney Houston. Um, she has soul. In it. I listen to Bob Marley. Yeah. I listen to Fela. Mm -hmm. So those are people that, those are people that um, have, a, have, have, they have, they have, they have. What's the word now? I don't know. <laughs> they have, uh, they have touched souls. Yeah. And they're still touching souls. Mm -hmm. They're all dead, to be honest. But their spirit lives on. Their music lives on. Mm -hmm. So those are the people I look forward to, because that's what I want to be too. Yeah. I wanna, I want to, I want to be long gone. My, my music is still playing, the whole of Africa and, and, and the world in diaspora as well. So that's that's those are the people I look forward to, to be honest. Mm. Yeah. Okay, and maybe just tell us what is this one thing that keeps you going? Because we have had such projects films yeah. in Kenya, but after they win, they dwindle off along the way. Yeah. What has kept you moving? Um, to be honest, um, it's, this is something I've always wanted to do, yeah. regardless of project film. Yeah, gave me a gave me a, a platform to showcase myself. But music is always what I've, I wanted to do. Where from um, when I was little, because I basically grew up listening to music. I was influenced by. By different sounds going to school my father would play music to us before we sleep my father would play music to us so it was something that was was imbibed in us by my parents 
So and I was like, hey, this is actually what I want to I want to do for the rest of my life, and I'm going to work hard, and I'm just going to keep pushing and keep pushing until it comes. Mm -hmm. So now nah, there will be no time. There will be no time that you say, oh, Jeff went to do something else. Jeff is always going to do music, mm -hmm. and yeah, that's that's what I'm. That's always what I'm going to do because. I know that's like that's my purpose. That's what I'm meant to do in life. Mm. And if I don't do that, I won't, I won't be fulfilled, to be honest. Yeah. So it's all about fulfillment, and it's all about um, um, living my dream and mm. touching souls. That's it. Perfect. That is yes. excellent. Yes. Super. So now I want you before you take the mic. Yeah. What does your song <laughs> talk about? <laughs> so yeah, um, the song is titled <laughs> "Shoko Loko Bango She." It doesn't mean anything, to be honest. <laughs> it's just me blabbing. Um, I was basically talking about. Um, the kind of music I used to listen to when I was much younger, <laughs> I used to listen to Craig David, I used to listen to, um, to um, Cisco. But right now, it's, it's supposed to supposed to carry me. Go. So it's just, it's, it's, it's a happy, it's a happy diss, kind of. Mm. <laughs> it's, it's a subtle diss song, but you, can't, you, you won't get it wrong, because like it's jumpy and it's all happy. Oh, 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 oh. Shoko logo bango, she, 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 so uh, that's it. Okay. That's about it. Wow. That is, wow, I don't even know how to <laughs> describe this whole interview. Thank you very much for having time for us. I really appreciate you guys having me also. It's a mm -hmm. pleasure. Thank you so much. And also speaking to the youths. Um, mm -hmm. Hey Nairobi youths, hey Kenyan youths, hey African youths. Um, all I want to say is, to, um, is that we should all um, unite as one and just um, be happy and pursue your goals, pursue your dreams. And it will definitely happen one day. You should never give up. Be positive always, and just be happy and live life. And only live once. That doesn't mean have to party all day. <laughs> yeah, to be honest, um, you just have to um, to to live your dreams and touch souls as many as possible. Oh. Wow. Thank you very much. You are very inspiring and I know you are mentoring so many youths all over the world. <laughs> and yeah, thank you very much for coming over. Thank you very much for having me as well. Yes, I was speaking to that super intelligent and talented Jeff Ako and he's going to be introducing his song as we get, as I leave you the hands yeah. of that song. Yeah, introduce it. The title of the song is Shoko Loko Bango She. Oh, oh, oh. Shoko Loko Bango She. 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 Mm. 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 